Joining me today as part of our big MWC preview themed week is Bajoy Pankajakshan. Bajoy is Chief Strategy Officer at cloud native network software provider Mavenir. Bajoy, great to have you with us. Good to be here. Thanks for inviting Mavenir. It's a pleasure, Bajoy. Now, Mavenir has a vision and you call it one network, any cloud, all software. What's the meaning behind that, Bajoy? Yeah, Mavenir is building the future of networks and we're pioneering advanced technologies by focusing on our vision, which is having a single automated software-based network that can run in any cloud environment. And we do that today as being the industry's only end-to-end cloud-native network software provider. We support more than 250 operators globally in 120 plus countries, which is serving close to more than 50% of the world subscribe. And we do that today with a global workforce of close to 5,000 employees. So coming back to the vision statement, which is about having a single automated software-based network that can run on any cloud environment. So if I try to break it down, the first part of, about it is, is having a single network. And we look at how operator networks have evolved over the years, going from 2G to 5G. It started as disparate networks, and that's where there's a lot of inefficiency today. And we talk about a single network, it's about having a multi-generational network that can support 2Gs through 5Gs and can support not just mobile devices, but can support the, the multitude of different device types of today and into the future. The second part of it is running in any cloud environment. And we talk about any cloud today, the majority of deployments that you have for telco workloads is running within the operator premises. But you're starting to see some of the hyperscalers converge with the operator networks, and you're seeing more of the public cloud announcements as well between operators and the hyperscalers, as well as edge to clouds and hybrid clouds. When we talk about any cloud, it's about having applications that can run in a private, public, edge, or hybrid cloud scenario. And the last part is about all in software. As I mentioned earlier, Mavenir is the industry's only end-to-end -end cloud native software, so we've not been bound by proprietary hardware-based solutions. We've always focused on having a software-based solution set. Why is this so important to operators, Berjoy? I mean, what value do they get from realizing this any cloud network? Yeah, so I would say if you look at how organizations are looking to disperse their workloads across multiple clouds, they're looking to get the best return on the investment. And this is also for multiple reasons, whether it comes down to reducing risk of cloud environments having failures. You also have different clouds having different benefits and drawbacks, whether it comes to cost, scalability, time to market, as well as considerations around privacy regulatory parts or application specific requirements. And today, if you look at uh, 5G networks and into the future, when you talk about 5G network slices, supporting a variety of different use cases, it's almost an impossible task to try to design a single cloud to support all those different slice specific requirements. And what we see is that public cloud brings more flexibility in terms of location, scalability, time to market, as well as having a lot of automation tools and a marketplace to have new value added services. So just going by Mavenir's history, where we today have more than 60% of the world's messaging in our footprint. And when we look at that footprint that's deployed today in the operator networks for just a couple of days of the year, whether it's the New Year's Day or Mother's Day, that's when you really see the peak of traffic. But the way the networks are engineered today, it's over to to support that peak traffic just for the short period of time. So when we talk about this future any cloud network, you could be looking at deployments where for just the spike in traffic, you could be offloading to a public cloud. And that's what we would consider as a hybrid cloud deployment. The other benefits of having this any cloud setup is where you have operator networks that are complemented by differentiated offerings from the public cloud guys, whether it be the IBM Watson or the Google Cloud hosting YouTube content. So it all boils down to whether you're able to have a consolidated offering where differentiated services from the public cloud guys are integrated with the operator services and they remain relevant. And all of this, and from Mavenir's standpoint, this is important because for the operator to really take advantage of this, uh, of this cloud native deployment, in any cloud environment, they need applications that are designed to optimize the use of the underlying cloud resources. And this is where Mavenir comes in. I talked earlier about our cloud native end-to-end -end software. And we continue to differentiate ourselves in the marketplace with having this end-to-end -end software suite that can support in any network, a single network deployment in any cloud environment. 
It's clear that telecom networks are evolving at a pace faster than, than ever before, Bejoy. Um, tell us briefly how you see the future shaping up and, of course, where will Mavenir sit in this future world? Yeah, so when we look at 5G and how it's been evolving, it would be a software-defined network in the future. And traditionally, operators are well known for building very large-scale high performance networks, but the way these networks have been built in the past is using integrated solutions that are tightly, uh, closely knit with proprietary hardware and software. And the problem has been there where you're needing to vendor lock in high cost, and we're starting to see disaggregation of these networks into software-based solutions. It started in the core, and now we're seeing it in the radio access with open RAN-based solutions. We'll continue to see edge computing a key driver in 5G, and you're seeing a lot more announcements today whether it's Verizon partnering with Microsoft or Vodafone or different operators globally partnering with hyperscalers because you're seeing an opportunity to monetize the operator networks through edge computing. And a third part to it is that increasingly you're seeing the use of automation tools. And this is for OPEX in terms of automation using AI, as well as the use of AI and ML in, in, in CapEx by optimizing a network performance. And when it comes to 5G and you have these diverse set of applications, which means that you will have a heterogeneous mix of data and to be able to support and glean intelligence out of running an autonomous 5G network, AI ML is going to play a key role in the future of these networks. And from Mavenir's standpoint, where we can support these deployments of the future is by having a, a disaggregated solutions. We've always been software-based uh, provider, having disaggregation, not just in the core, but also in the access supporting our operator customers to extract the most value out of the existing assets as they transition to web scale based deployments. And finally, as they enter into new industry verticals, whether it's in automobile industry or healthcare, other verticals where they start to monetize in 5G, we can also support them in that transition. Bajoy, great insights into what the future holds for telecom networks. Thank you very much for joining us. And we look forward to seeing you on site in Barcelona for MWC 21. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having Mavin here and happy to be here again.